Hello students, let's understand the next type of solid which is called as the hexahedron. Hexa means six, hedron means faces. So six equal sided faces. A solid should be having six equal sided faces. So that is nothing but a cube. So we are going to go for drawing a cube. So you can see that it has got six faces. One, two, three. The other three are four, and the back side one five, and the base which is six. So six equal sided faces. All the edges is going to be same. In the hexahedron, height will not be given because by default all the sides measures thirty mm. The next thing is is resting it on one of its corners on HP. I need to keep the cube resting on the corner on HP so corner should be on the right side so let's keep the cube so this is not like tetrahedron because in tetrahedron all the edges was seen because it is visible slant edges even in case of pyramid even in case of pyramid all the slant edges we are going to be drawing in thick lines so we have just kept it the cube resting it on the corner so even if you can check it in the wireframe it is going to be just a square so we need to draw the diagonals so i just kept all the annotations so which is a is visible a1 is not seen b is seen b1 is not seen c c1 d d1 you'll be able to see two faces which is like looks like a rectangle so this is the two square surface because it is a single corner it will look like a rectangle so we need to project that so we are going to project from all these lines yeah i kept all these uh, annotations yeah i kept all these annotations so top face a b c d is seen so similarly here a dash c is seen b dash is seen c dash is seen behind the point which is d dash is not seen similarly the access point is not going to be visible so next thing is we need to see such that one of its solid diagonal is perpendicular to vp first we need to understand what is this solid diagonal so what we have drawn here is called as the diagonals now let's understand what is solid diagonals this is nothing but called the diagonals which we are just connecting two points on the one of the face similarly i can draw it from here on the top face even on the lateral faces now the solid diagonal is something which we are going to be drawing from this top corner to opposite side bottom corner even it can be drawn from this top corner to bottom corner similarly from this top corner to this bottom corner this top corner to this bottom corner so like that so we can create the four solid diagonals so we are going to consider get draw. so we are going to consider drawing it one of that so here we need to make one of the solid diagonals is perpendicular to vp he is not going to give the inclination with respect to hp so directly we need to make it perpendicular to vp so by making it perpendicular how we are going to do it is first thing is we need to draw the solid diagonals then we need to make it parallel to both HT, hp and vp then we can make it perpendicular so i'm just going to be drawing the solid diagonal so i need to be resting it on corner so it should be resting it on c1 point I need to make this solid diagonal parallel to HP and also parallel to VP so that I can make it in the third step perpendicular to VP. So I'll just draw the line from this point to this point. The reason is I need to make it from this edge it should be 90 degrees. So now I'm going to call this point as M m dash this is just as the reference so now i'm going to take the distance i got it something 24.49 i'm going to be drawing from here 24.49 90 degrees when you're going to do it system directly i can copy it paste it rotate it but here when you're going to draw it manually so i'm just explaining how to draw it so i just keep this point m dash now this solid diagonal is going to be parallel so from this point to this point i'll just draw a line so I'll just draw on the line now I'm, i know the distance from that is resting it on mm. corner c1 dash 
from c1 dash to c dash it is 30 so i'm going to draw an arc from this point with radius 30 i'll cut an arc now go for lines i'm going to join from this so this point is nothing but next thing is i'm going to take the dimension from next thing is i'm going to take the dimension of this point to this point which is 12.25 so from this point i'll be drawing a line 12.25 either you can just draw this line from here and cut an arc next thing is i need to take this distance which is going to be from this much which is 42.43 so i'll go for arc by center point move to this point i'll cut the radius 42.43 now i'm going to draw the line from here to here when i'm going to draw this i must verify whether this lateral edge to this space is 90, is 90 degrees then what we have done is correct then similarly from here i'm going to be drawing the line or else i just take this distance next thing is i just take this measurement which is from this point to this point which is 21.21 it is having little bit of accuracy issues so it's okay no issues so from this point i'll cut an arc of 21 cut an arc from here i'll be drawing the line from here i'm going to draw a line till this point similarly from this point i'm going to draw a line i know this distance is how much so from here i'm going to be drawing that line where i should make this one exactly perpendicular to the adjacent edge so i'm going to trim these lines you can verify this from here to here it is 90 degrees this is how we are going to construct it so when you are going to draw it I have seen when you are going to draw it it should be resting it on corner on HP it should not be above the XY line this is very important so this is nothing but M dash is the reference point so I am going to keep the dimensions I have just kept all the annotations now let's see so this is the same red face here I have not added color to this so same pink face so same this blue color is going to be here so now you can see that the solid diagonal is from this point to this point so that is what we have drawn how it is seen in its top view so we will be able to see top face then two square faces so that is what we are going to be getting it here even when I am going to project it top view project annotations by annotations so this is a point till here then b dash then c dash then similarly a1 dash then b1 dash is on the same line so i'm going to project it so let me keep the annotations so i kept the annotations let's join the outer boundary of the solid so this is A1 to this one, B1 to B, then to C point, then to D, D1 and A. Let's see the nearest point from the observer is A. Line joining A must be in thick lines. So from A point, it is joining to D, A to B, remaining is A to A1. The farthest point for an observer is C1. Line joining C1 must be in dotted lines. So C1 it is joining to D1, C1 to B1, then remaining is C1 to C1, C1 to C. So you can just keep the axis line from here till this point. So this point is 
this is nothing but c1 is the bottom corner this is the top face which is o is c but at the bottom face o1 o1 is not visible line joining c is c1 is dotted so i need to keep it inside the bracket so this is what what you're going to see even in its solid view so these are the three faces one two three two lateral face one top face this is one top face these are the two lateral surfaces now you can see that the solid diagonal is between a1 to c dash a1 to c is the solid diagonal which is parallel to hp now a1 to c is the solid diagonal which is parallel to vp the question says i need to keep the solid diagonal perpendicular to vp so making perpendicular to vp means i need to rotate this 90 degrees either i can rotate this way or this way so already you know how to construct it and rotate it i don't want to waste much time so i rotated it so if you have a doubt you can just take the measurements from if you can just draw one of the vertical lines you can take the measurement from c to c1 again from c to o distance c to a c to a1 so this line is over then you can take the distance from c to d from a catenar and c to b catenar from a you can measure it the same distance catenar you will be able to get the square then get this distance and you can join it so let's project its front view c dash so let's go to the projection of the point a is still in this point a dash then go to the point b dash is still here then c point till c dash then d point is still here so let me keep the annotations so i placed all the annotations similarly after drawing it let's go to project its bottom face so a1 is already on the same point then go for b1 point b1 is till here that's it let's keep its annotations so this point is the same c point and a1 is on the same line so this point is also on the same line so a1 then let's go to the b b1 point b1 dash this one is c1 dash this one is d1 dash so we have just created all the let's join the outer boundary of the solid so this is d point to a dash to b dash to b1 dash to c1 dash to d1 dash and till here the nearest point for an observer is a1 line joining a1 should be drawn in thick lines so a1 is joining to b1 a1 is joining to d1 a1 is joining to a the farthest point for an observer is c point line joining c must be in dotted line so c is joining to b c to d there is nothing c to a edge here so we are going to be drawing the hidden lines from c point this is the same point c point to d point c point to b point c point to c1 dash c to c1 dash so line joining c is the we have to keep it inside the bracket so at last you can project the axis but axis line we cannot be mentioning it so i'll just go for keeping the annotations so this point is o1 dash which is the base is visible but in the top face is not visible so it is just o dash should be inside the bracket so this is the same view which we are going to see so this is the front view so when i want to tilt it this face is this one behind this face is seen the base which was here this one is seen over here so this is the same three faces which you are going to see even in the front view here so this is first face second face and the bottom face the remaining three faces is not visible hope you understood the concept and also solving it and have a good day.